By 2020, it is predicted that 40 zettabytes of data will be stored in the cloud. Yeah, I hadn't heard of zettabyte before either. A zettabyte is 1 billion terabytes or 1 trillion gigabytes. And we will have 40 of those monsters in the cloud. So in 2009, the entire World Wide Web was only half a zettabyte. Us humans really do have a hoarding problem, it would seem. Coming up in this episode of the show, Azure Private Link makes Azure even more secure, auto failover for Azure SQL makes your data even more stable, and you can now recognize all the Disney characters automatically. This is Azure This Week, a show taking up 0.0000000000618 zettabytes in the cloud. A new feature to address security concerns while using first or third party services within Azure was released this week. Azure Private Link enables you to access Azure PaaS services, for example, Azure Storage and SQL databases, and Azure hosted customer owned or partner services over a private endpoint in your virtual network. So traffic between your virtual network and the service travels over the Microsoft Backbone network, eliminating any exposure from the public internet. Azure Private Link brings Azure services inside your private VNet. The service resources can be accessed using the private IP address just like any other resource in the VNet. This significantly simplifies the network configuration by keeping access rules private. This new offering is not limited to Azure Pass services though. You can run your service completely private in your own VNet behind an Azure standard load balancer Enable it for Azure Private Link and allow it to be accessed by consumers running in a different VNet, subscription, or Azure Active Directory tenant. Azure SQL is the managed version of Microsoft SQL, which has gone from strength to strength. If you are sick of managing servers and operating systems, debugging hardware faults, and buying new racks to run your databases on, then Azure SQL is probably the choice for you. This week, the long-awaited auto-failover feature was finally released. And this enables business continuity after a catastrophic failure or other unplanned event by creating and managing a geographically redundant copy of a managed instance. You can also use policies to automatically recover multiple related databases in a secondary region when there is a loss of the service availability in the primary region. This feature is now generally available and should ensure even better uptime for your SQL databases on Azure. Azure is a lot more than VMs, networks, and storage. Well, of course, those things are probably running every single other service on the platform, but I mean, we have a lot more tools than just those three. One of those amazing tools is the Video Indexer, which can extract insights from videos using Azure Media Analytics, Azure Search, and cognitive services such as the Face API, Microsoft Translator, the Computer Vision API, and Custom Speech Service. Bit of a mouthful there. This week, a new integration in the video indexer with Azure Custom Vision to recognize animated characters was released in preview. This new feature lets Azure AI automatically recognize animated characters in videos to let you easily tag and group them. And the models in Custom Vision can then be trained to recognize certain characters in any video content. I know what you're thinking. That will come in handy for your new Disney Princess popularity index apps. I know. Now I will have to leave you. I have to go and find a zettabyte sized portable hard drive to back up my version of the internet. As we say on the A Cloud Guru team when our cloud storage is running dangerously low, seek and you shall cloud. So see you next week and keep being awesome cloud gurus.